Hi, I'm Ron Kellawell. I founded Aria to PR in 2004 to advise clients on PR and comms across a range of sectors. In January 2010, I also became the Chief Executive of the Islington Chamber of Commerce. The UK is set to leave the European Union in two weeks, on the 31st of October, and the Prime Minister has pledged to do or die in his commitment to leave on that date, with or without a deal. You will have seen the government's public campaign providing citizens and businesses with practical advice on how to prepare for the UK's departure from the EU. But public relations as a strategic management discipline has a vital role to play in ensuring your clients are ready for the changes that will follow Brexit. Public relations can make a profound contribution to the management of uncertainty, but understanding potential scenarios your clients may face will be imperative to providing them with clear communication. A lot of small businesses are going to face reputational threats as a result of the consequences of a no-deal Brexit. So here is my advice on how you can help your clients be prepared. 1. What are the key things for a PR professional to know and understand? It is really important to understand the team culture and leadership culture of the client. So firstly, establish whether your client already has a crisis, faces a likely crisis or is trying to avoid a crisis. 2. Where should they focus their work? Focus on information sharing, social media, leadership, brand ambassador training, internal communications, and if necessary, media relations. Three, help your client focus on the central goal. What should the outcome be? Make sure that you help your client identify key stakeholders and employees who need to use the crisis comms plan and ensure that the flow of information is mapped out in a way that is easy for the client to understand. Ensure the entire organisation has fact sheets and encourage the client to undertake active social listening to ensure they are kept up to date. Media training may also need to be part of this process. Brexit has been a polarising situation. This is a time for unity, clarity and purposeful commitment to a less polarising transition, so ensure that information and communication channels are kept active and transparent.